life, you oriented yourself to the highest possible good that you could conceive of, and you committed to that. How much good could you do? Jordan Peterson. Jordan Peterson. Welcome back, Mr. Peterson. The Canadian psychology professor is somebody people love or love to hate. He's undeniably one of the greatest intellectual phenomenons on the planet right now. The requirement to speak in the politically correct manner is becoming overwhelming. I mean, you are a provocateur. I never say anything. You're like anything. the alt-right that you hate to be compared to. What you've been trying to do is put me into a sequence of corners by accusing me of various forms of misbehavior. I'm amazed that you managed to keep that all those years. Well, you weren't a smart aleck kid. There's the Jordan Peterson I know, there's the Jordan Peterson I see on Twitter, and then there's the cult of Jordan Peterson. It's been a remarkable transformation. Because he used to talk like a revolutionary, but now he acts like one. He's having so many adoring fans. He's also being confronted by people who he sees as mischaracterizing him. I wrote calling out Peterson for being transphobic. Jordan B. Peterson, he feels that he has the authority to dictate the gender identities of his students. This is what I look like, and then this is what people who don't like me think I look like. Hmm. International media phenomenon. It's not easy to find people that can be so helpful. He's had a huge effect. I wrote this because there are people out there who should know what's going on. It's true that I'm a polarizing figure. Moments where we have him again are precious moments. I think he's at best helping people find personal meaning. Every time I wake up, it hits me that all this is happening. I hope that what I'm doing is telling the best story. And the story that I'm telling people is that their lives matter.